morning, everyone. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I thought I'd do a market review today because the market's gapping down, but it is a holiday week. I said last week, don't be surprised if the market ends up rallying this week on low volume during the holiday. Today's Tuesday. I did look at the market briefly yesterday. It looked like it was barely even moving. It, literally, this is not a week to really be trading because it's just low volume, everybody off, holiday week. At one point, I remember looking at charts in the early afternoon. I was like, is the market closed? I mean, that's what stocks look like. They were not even moving. So the market had a gap up yesterday on Monday morning and came in a little bit. Not a big deal. And then we gapped down today. Just a little follow through from this move downward yesterday that happened just very slowly and not on a lot of volume. And like I said, really didn't show any weakness. And I don't even think this gap today is weak. So this is not a shortable gap in the market. I didn't rate it to short because... I'm not going to short it, but you could have rated this this morning. It wouldn't have rated well. But I will tell you that it was a follow-through from the move that happened, the sell-off here a little bit yesterday. But the market's very strong. Will we still make a new high before the end of this month? We might, because really, Monday is the 30th. So we have Tuesday. We're not going to do anything today. I think today the call is neutral for the market like really neutral, back and forth, back and forth, no directional bias in this gap down. We might gap up tomorrow or neutral tomorrow and rally on a Wednesday right before the holiday. Friday, the market's closed to half day. I don't think we'll really do anything Friday. On Monday, we may end up gapping up. So I have to see where we actually close on how we trade Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday Friday. Market's closed Thursday for Thanksgiving, but I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we gap up the last day of the month and make a new high for the year then. Either way, we're going to rally this year into the close of the end of the year, of the calendar year. So nothing here even remotely looks bearish, even though we're gapping down and we had a little bit of a sell-off yesterday. So still look for us to continue higher, get over this number of 115.50, the timing of it. We just have to watch and see every day how the market acts, trades, gaps, and look at the gaps in the market. But it still could actually happen by the end of this month. It doesn't have to. It's still going to do it before the end of the year. But it could do it still before the end of the month because next Monday is November 30th. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in more information about the upcoming GAP class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.